Hello, everybody. Good night, teacher. Hey, good evening. How are you guys? Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome to your class. Welcome, Luis Alberto. We have Nidia, Yamile. Good night. Hey, good evening. Jose David. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Iris Milena, Pamela, Eva Alicia, Esther Hi. Marisol. Hi, welcome. Hi. We have Carlos Mario. Christian, Vladimir, connected right now. Welcome, Mercedes Elizabeth, Francisco. Welcome, everybody, to one more session to continue with this process. Now, remember what we were studying yesterday? Hello? Uh, we started about the different illness and medicines. Right. Uh -huh. What else? Very good. Thank you. And also we saw the imperative, right? Like when you give instructions in affirmative and the negative form. We are going to watch a video. In the one, our objective is this. Let me point at it. It says, by the end of this class, you will read and discuss an article about how to improve your health. <laughs> Additionally, you will develop skills in scanning and reading for main ideas. So we're going to watch the video about it. We analyze it. And then we are going to check some comprehension points. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for main ideas. By reading and discussing an article about how to improve your health. 10 Simple Ways to Improve Your Health Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. 1. Eat breakfast. <laughs> breakfast gives you energy for the morning. 2. Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. 3. Floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. 4. Drink 8 cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. 5. Stretch for 5 minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. 6. Wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. 7. Do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. 8. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. 9. Get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods, like yogurt, milk, and cheese, have calcium. 10. Take a time out. A break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk. Or sit down and listen to music. All right, guys, you watch the video here. Now let's verify it here. 
We're going to have the reading. He says that we have 10 points here in 10 simple ways to improve your health. We know that we can do different things to protect our body, to protect our health, how to be healthy. So he says, can you think of some ways to improve your health? Don't look at the article. Believe it or not, you can really improve your health in 10 simple ways. So let's check. A hey, number one, eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. And we know that this is true, right? What normally do you eat for breakfast? Nidia? What do you usually eat for breakfast? Meat. Okay. Egg. Eggs. You drink milk? Toast. Beans. Beans. How Beans. Beans. Cream. Cream. Bread. Bread. Orange juice. Cereal. Orange juice. Cereal. Cereal. Okay. Banana. So bananas. Good. What about yeah. like a cocktail food? Coffee. Coffee. Right. Okay. So all of those elements that they are normally like eaten and drank. Who says? Pupusas, that's very common, right? As we are very Salvadorian people. Very common breakfast. All right. Um, bacon. Yes. Bacon, yes, you add it to the uh, to also to the eggs, right? Sometimes people use it and mix it in eggs. Let's see yeah. about number two. Bread. Uh-huh. You eat bread. So let's check here. We're going to read the step number two. Jose David? Hello. Amy? Amy? Can you can you please read number two? It says go for a walk. Uh walking is good exercise and I, I exercise is necessary for good health. Good health. Yes, very true. Thank you. Definitely, right? If you do exercise, it keeps you maintain your body healthy and also with energy. That helps a lot. Thank you. Let's see, Chrysia. Number three, floss your teeth. Chrysia? Mauricio? Mauricio Enrique? Hi, Mauricio. Are you there? Karen Guadalupe? Karen Guadalupe. Hello, can you listen? Mercedes? Can I read? Ah, sure, yes. yes, teacher. Can you read it, please? Number three. Okay. Floss your teeth. Floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing mm -hmm. keeps your gun healthy. Healthy, that is true. That's definitely right. That helps to maintain also the teeth very clean. Thank you. Camila. En, espa en español, ¿cómo sería ese, ese paso? This one. When you say, don't just brush them. So if you say, floss, floss your teeth, is like when you use this one. Usar el hilo dental. That is floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. No solo los cepilles. Usar el hilo dental um, ayuda a tus encías a mantenerse saludables. Okay, so, that is it. so that is, they are cleaner, right? They are cleaner. Camila, number four, drink. Drink eight cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. In many ways, that's good, thanks. Tell me, how many glasses of water do you usually drink? Jennifer? Jennifer Elizabeth? How many? Sorry, coach. Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. Tell us, like, uh, how many glasses of water do you drink in the day? Uh, Sería el número cuatro. Ajá, y number four. Drink. Drink eight cups of water every day. Water helps your your body in many ways. 
Good one. Okay, so water is very important, right, for our body. So how many glasses of water do you drink? Two glasses, three glasses, in your case? How many glasses of water do you drink a day? Ocho vasos. Eight vasos. Okay, that's good. So you drink eight glasses of water. That's the normal, right? Like the How do you say dos litros? Two liters. Two liters of two, water. Two lit liters. Liters. Liters of, of water. water. Okay, that is good. It's a good quantity of water nice very good to keep very very healthy and to get the energy too let's see about number five william vladimir can you please stretch for five minutes stretching minutes is important for your muscles muscles muscles, muscles. yeah that is true right so that's why exercise is very important, right? We do exercise, we're giving movement to the body. So that's a stretch that means estirarse, right? Stretch for five minutes, right? It's a good time. Let's see about number six, Wilber Enrique. Wear a seat belt. Seat belt. Seat belt. Every year, seat belts sell, save, save, save thousand of thousands life, of lives. 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 Very good. Thanks. That's true, right? The security belt. So if you're driving a car or if you are the passenger, so that's it's better, right? To wear the seat belt. Do you have a question with this vocabulary? Seat belt, seat belt es como, seat belt? Cinturón de, como cinturón de seguridad. It is, exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. why it says, every year seat belt save thousands of lives. That's why when there are accidents, but if you are wearing the seat belt, does not provoke like a much problem. But if you don't wear it, so it's very dangerous. Okay. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Seat belt. Seat? Seat belt. Belt, okay. Seat belt. Okay, gracias. You're welcome. Let's see about number seven. Francisco, can you continue, please? Do something. Do something to change. To challenge? Challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle. Puzzle? Or Puzzle or read a new book. A new book. Thank you. Yeah, that's true. Something that challenge, right? Un reto, algo que rete el cerebro. You see? So we can do this one. Uh, do you like to make also games? For example, on the newspaper, it appears many games, like crosswords or a letter soup. Sudoku. Sudoku is another one that is a challenge. This one challenge your brain. And also is a good entertainment. Domino. Domino is another one. Yes. Yes, also. That game. Question with here? This vocabulary in part number seven. Puzzle. ¿Cómo se pronuncia dicha? Puzzle. 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 Right. Mm -hmm. Puzzle. Cabeza, right? Puzzle. Puzzle. Okay. It's a puzzle. Let's see number eight. It is. Please, can you read it? Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizers. Moisturizer. Moisturizer and sunscreen. 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 Thanks. Moisturizer, right? To put on your skin, to protect it and keep it soft. Suavizante, right? So you put it on your skin and also sunscreen, especially these days that is very sunny. Protect so the sun. Solar. Exactly. So that's also important, right? Let's see about number nine. 
Luis Alberto, can you please read it? Nine. Activate the microphone, please. ¿Me escucha? Yes. Get enough Get calcium. Get enough calcium. Your bones. Bones. Ne your bones. Ne need, it. need it. Need it. Your bones daily. need it. Dairy. 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 Foods. Food. Like. Like. Like your. Yogurt. Your, your meal. Milk. Milk and cluster. And cheese. And cheese have calcium. Have calcium. Have Very calcium. good. Very good. Thank you. Okay, we know that all of these ones, they contain calcium, right? They are also very good to help the body. So what kind of this food do you like to eat? Which ones do you eat? Doris? All of these dairy foods? Do you eat yogurt? Um, no, I don't. I drink you don't milk. Like you drink milk? Ah, okay. What about cheese? Cheese too. Do you eat cheese? Cheese yes. too. You like it. Okay, that's good. What other dairy products or dairy foods uh, can you eat? Cream. Cream. Yeah, that is delicious actually. Yes, cream. Mm. So all those are they are the derivates, right? Of the milk, so that they help the body a lot. Thank you. Let's continue yes. then. Let's go ahead with Karen. Karen Guadalupe, number 10. 10. Take. Take a time out and break of about 20 minutes. Minutes? Minutes. Good. Do something different, for example, get up and walk. Get up. Get up. Get up and walk. Or sit down and listen to music. That's very good. Thank you. So this time out is like, hey, free time. Don't work. Do something. Do something different, like to relax. So as that's why it's getting here. Like the example, get up and walk or sit down and listen to music. What things do you do? To relax. What different things do you do? Alma Patricia? What things do you like to do to relax? Or also to do certain exercise to relax your body? Go to the park, for example. Okay. Go to the park and walk. Listen to music. Yeah. Listen to music. Listen to music. That's good. So what kind of music do you like? Auto the beat. Uh-huh. Okay. That kind of. It can be too. All right. So those are activities, right? Different activities. Like to eliminate the routine. Luis Antonio, what activities do you do to eliminate the routine but that can help your body? I take a nap, teacher. You take a nap. That is, I think, is the best to disconnect. <laughs> and you can rest and you relax yeah. at the same time. Then when you wake up again, you feel renovated and with energy to continue again with the routine. That's all right. Good. Any question with vocabulary? No questions? No, teacher. No? Okay, let's go ahead with our next activity. Like this. Okay, it says, read the article. We already read it. Then it says, then complete the sentences. In number one, you get the example. It says, do get exercise, go for a walk. So they're giving advice. Number two, to help your bones. Do you remember what was the advice? To help your bones? Which ones can we use? Can you use? 
All of this one will be advices. Which point was it? Get enough calcium. Get enough calcium. That is correct. In that manner, you're helping your bones. Like to give more resistance. So that will be get enough calcium. Calcium. Okay, what about number three? To help your muscles? Stretch for five minutes. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Let's check it here. So it says that stretched, right? Stretch for five minutes. So that's the good advice. A stretch for five minutes. Let's see the next one, number four. To keep your gums healthy. Do you remember? Floss your teeth. Floss your teeth, that is correct. So if you check it here, it will be floss your teeth. Number five, to have energy for the morning? Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. So if we check here, that is true. Because it's eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. It's like the gasoline that we have for our body to begin the day. Let's write it down. Eat breakfast. And the last one, six, to challenge your brain. You remember that one? Do a crossword puzzle or uh -huh. read a book. Or read a book, correct. So it was this one. Or do something to challenge your brain, right? Like do a puzzle, like the one that you have, right? Do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. That's to challenge it. So do in general will be do something to challenge your brain. Bless you. So that will be this one. Thank you. You're welcome. That will be do a crossword puzzle or read a book. Okay, so we have a, a lot of advice that we can follow to keep healthy. Now, let's read them then. Let's see. Luis Antonio, can you please read number one? To get, to get exercise, go for a walk. Thank you. Camila, number two. <laughs> Bones get a no calcium. Number two, to help, to, to help, help your bones get a no calcium. Enough, enough no. calcium. Calcium. Very good. Thank you, Wilbur. Number three, to help your muscles, 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 muscle stretch for five minutes. For five minutes. That's all right. Good one. What about studies? Continue. Number four. To keep your gums healthy, plus your teeth. Your teeth. Thank you. Carlos Mario. Number five. Me escucha bien. Yes, we can hear you. To have energy for the morning, eat breakfast. That's correct. Thank you. Brenda Esmeralda, number six. Brenda Esmeralda. Hi. Hi. Okay. Read number six, please. To, 
to ¿cómo se pronuncia? To challenge. To, challenge. to challenge your your brain, do a crossword puzzle or read a book. Or read a book. That's all right. Good one. Nice guys. Okay, let's verify one part here. This one was read, okay? This one is read, okay? Do a, a puzzle or read a book. And this one, stretch. Stretch for five minutes. Okay, so let's go Teacher, ahead. Tell me. ¿Qué quiere decir? Do a crossword puzzle or... Puzzle. Uh -huh. Puzzle is like this one. Es um, hacer un rompecabezas, pero eh, de las crucigramas. Normally is that oh, one. Okay. Es un crucigrama. Normally in the okay. newspaper, it appears, right? And you have to complete the letters. Es el sudoku. A la sudoku, correct. Or they said like a letter soup or so parte letras that they are very common. That's why they are crosswords. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Or also... Uh, it can be like this, right? So, sopas de letras, right? They are like that. Let's continue then on the next part. All right, we finished that part. Now let's continue on our next section. And this one, the name of it, it will be you can't miss it. We'll continue with our section three or week two. And the name of it, as we mentioned, is you can't miss it. Let's see what is our objective. Our objective is that by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for stores in other places and discuss where you can get different things. So let's mark them here. For example, here we have a post office, a gas station, a restaurant. What else do we have? A pharmacy, which is very important. We also have a bookstore. Now, let's have others here. A restaurant. We also have a newsstand. We already mentioned a pharmacy, a bookstore, a bank. A school. What other places can you mention? Alma Patricia, can you mention other places? Hospital. Ah, okay. The hospital. What else? Supermarket. The supermarket, yes. The church. The church. Uh -huh. El mall. Ah, mall? the mall. Actually, we have a lot of malls, right? A yeah. park. A park, correct. What else? <coughs> salon de belleza. Oh, the beauty salon, correct. Shoe stores. School. School, right? So we have different places, right, that we can go and also get different University. Things. The university, <coughs> that's true. Okay. Well, so there are different. Uh -huh. The church. The, the church. church, that's right. You can get the church also. Yes, that's nice. Okay. So let's go ahead and we are going to watch the video. But first, guys, we are going to pass the list. So let me know if when you are present. Okay, here I have it ready. Okay, the first one, Adriana Gabriela. 
Thank you so much. Alma Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you, Alma. Ana Lisette. Ana Lisette. Brenda Esmeralda. Brenda Present. Esmeralda. Thank you, Brenda. Brian Alexander. Present, Miss. Thank you, Brian. Camila Lisette. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Carlos Mario. Present, teacher. Thank you. Doris Emilia. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Elvis Leonel. Elvis Leonel. Estela Marisol. Estela Present. Marisol. Thank you, Estela. Eva, Eva Alicia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Eva. Francisco Samuel. Present teacher, good evening. Hey. Good evening. Thank you, Francisco. Iris Milena. Iris Milena. Present. Thank you, Iris. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present coach. Thank you, Jennifer. Jose David. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose. Karen Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen. Crisia Dorila. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Luis Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis. Luis Antonio. Present. Thank you. Mauricio Enrique. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Mercedes Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you, Mercedes. <laughs> Nidia Yamilex. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Nidia. Rosa Irma. Rosa Irma. Sarina Susana. Sarina Susana. Tatiana María. Present. Thank you, Tatiana. Wendy Lisette. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Wilber Enrique. Present, teacher. Thank you, Wilber. William Vladimir. Present. Thank you. Yesenia Maribel. Yesenia Maribel. Yesenia Pamela. Present. Thank Me, you. Yes. Miss, yo el día de ayer me conecté, pero cuando pasó asistencia no me funcionó el micrófono, así que... Mm, no but, but you are here. Aquí está, aquí está, porque sí, yo recordaba que sí estaba ahí. Usted, yo la vi que estaba conectada. Gracias. So, yes, you are here. Yes. Thank you for informing me. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Now let's continue. <clears throat> Let me verify here. <clears throat> okay, so as we saw some parts there of uh, vocabulary of different places, and you can get different things there. So let's check. We're going to watch the video about it. Let's see in our platform. This one is vocabulary, places, and things. At a department store. Share your work in our discussion. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two, you can buy bread at a supermarket. Three, you can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four, you can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. 
For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so what you observe on the video, different places, right? And also they were giving like recommendation or advice where you can get different things. So let's hear what is the form that we can use it. Let's mark it. It says places and things. Where can you get these things? Match the things with the places. Then listen and practice. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. So as we know it, right? Number one, it says aspirin. We have letter B at a drugstore. What about bread? Number two. Where at the bakery. Bread? At the bakery, okay. So what letter is it? We're going to have, because here we have the rest of the pictures. Bread? E. All right. Okay, that's good. The bakery is not here, but also it's possible that you can get it in a supermarket, right? That's another place you can get it. So we can add here letter H. What about a dictionary? Where can we get a dictionary? Um, bookstore. Bookstore. In bookstore. Bookstore. In a bookstore, right? That's good. Sometimes it's also possible to find it in a supermarket. Yes. Yeah, right? So in two places, it's possible. So that can be letter F and also letter H. In both places, you can find them. What about gasoline? Where can you get gasoline? Gas station. gas station. In the gas station. Just let's check what letter was it. Letter D. Yes. You can get it there. Letter D. That's good. What about where can we get a sandwich? Restaurant. Restaurant. E. Uh -huh. It was letter E, right? Yeah, that's correct. Good. Let's verify it. We have it here. No, we don't have it. It's previous. It is one here. Yeah, that's the picture. So that's the letter E. Sometimes you can also find it in a supermarket, right? It depends. For example, in the Spencer de Don Juan, they have an area of the food court, right? So you can also get it. What about number six? Stamps. Where can we get stamps? What is a stamp? Estampillas. Oh. Uh, in the bookstore? It can be in the bookstore. A post, a post office. Stay in a bank. Normally, office. Oh, in a post, post office, office, right? Normally, you find it in a post office because you're going to send it, right, to another country <laughs> or inside, but in a, to a different letter place. Letter six. <laughs> so that's letter C, exactly. Number seven, where can we get a suit shirt? So that's about clothing. In the department it's store. In a department store. So this one was the letter. Let me check. Letter G. That's letter G. And the last one, traveler's checks. Where can we get that? Hey, a bank. At a bank, right? What was it? What letter was it? Letter A. The last one that mm -hmm. was missing. Letter A. All right. So we have this ones. Now let's verify it. Then we are going to say, you can buy, right, all of this. So if you check, like this in number one, 
Let's mark it here with letter. Okay. You can buy aspirin in a bank. You can say, right? Or like this, right? Not correct. You're not saying at a bank. You're saying at a drugstore. Bread. You can get bread. What else? In a supermarket, right? Three, a dictionary. You can get a dictionary. What's the compliment? You can buy a dictionary? Library. In, in the, the library? No. Uh-huh. In the bookstore, yes. When you say bookstore, it's la librería. You buy it. But when you say library, it says la biblioteca. That's library. So you buy the books, but in the bookstore. Gasoline. You can get gasoline. Gas station. Uh, gas, gas, station. gas station. Very good. That's nice. You can get a sandwich. At the restaurant. At the restaurant. Excellent. You can get stamps. A post office. At a post office. At a post office. That's good. The next one. You can get a sweatshirt. At uh, a department store. At a department store. Excellent. And the last one. You can uh, get traveler's checks. At a bank. At a bank. That's great. Okay. So there we have the connection, right? The place and also the things that you can get there. Let's move on the next part. Remember here we have the first exercise. But let's check here. This one in the platform, it appears like a listening, but also we can check it here. In number one, Carlos Mario, can you please read it? Where is Jim? going to buy the swimsuit the swimsuit that she swimsuit that she needs, that she needs. Mm -hmm. what do you think at a supermarket at the department store or at the beach at the, at the department store at the at department beach. store it could be right but also it could be at the beach or at the supermarket all it depends on the audio that you yeah. have here, right? All it depends on it. <laughs> so you need to listen to the audio and be careful about it. Now, let's continue on our next part. Our next objective is by the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when saying compound nouns. But first, let's check what are compound nouns. Let's see, compound nouns or compound words. These ones are like two words or three words that you put them together, but they transform in a different word. Pueden ser dos o tres palabras que pueden transformar otra nueva palabra. For example, when you say break, that is an action. Fast, this one, it will be an adjective, but they are together, a new word comes. So it's like break, fast. You see, very different. Very different from the base. You say break, romper, fast, rápido. Nada que ver con la nueva palabra. A veces tiene sentido, a veces no. No tiene lógica. Break, fast. So there are two words together. That's a compound noun or a compound word. So it says that. Coach, Tell me. Y aplica and get rest. Get rest. Get a rest. Uh huh. No, because this one is a combination of get and another noun. Esa es una combinación con get. Que get tiene muchas combinaciones. Pero uh -huh. no, ese, ese es diferente. It's get a uh -huh. rest. It's like an advice, right? That you give. But okay. no, these ones, they are like, and they are phrases. Son frases. Get a rest. Uh -huh. And this one is only one word. Esa es una palabra que se forma de dos palabras anteriores o puede ser tres. In this case, it's only two. Break fast. 
So compound noun is a noun which is made up of with two or more words. For example, when you say her cut, we know hair, right? The part of the body and cut is like this. So her cut, they come from another two words that mean corte de cabello. This one is logical because it's hair and cut. That's true. What about ice cream? Ice cream separated is ice, individual, cream, individual. You put them together, what is ice cream? Helado. Helado? Ajá, Crema. <laughs> Ajá, so when you say like ice cream, ya se forma, ¿verdad? Una nueva palabra. Ya no se forma como crema helada, sino que sorbete o un helado. Ice, por sí solo, tiene su significado. Hielo. Y cream, crema. Ok. Juntos, que okay, ya hacen un helado. So it's ice cream. We also have rainforest. Rainforest is this one. Es la selva tropical. This is a rainforest. So rain is individual meaning. Forest, what is forest? Bosque. Bosque, correct. But you put them together, rainforest, that brings a different meaning, a different word. This one means selva tropical. That's different, right? But they are connected. Aircraft. What's aircraft? It's this one, right? Es un artefacto volador. So it's aircraft. It can be an airplane. And also it can be like a helicopter. So all of those, they are aircraft. Bathroom. We know it, it's like the part of the, is one part, very important part of the house. Only bath, baño. Baño, pero darse un baño, right? And room. Room, solo la palabra room significa espacio o cuarto. You put them together, es el cuarto de baño. Bathroom is a compound word. Same case as a, if you say bed, room. Es el espacio, es el cuarto donde están las camas. So you go to sleep. Football, that's another one. What is food? Remember, that's a part of the body. Yeah. Ball, right? Circle that object. Pelota. Aha. Uh -huh. So literally will be balon pie, but it's a sport. The two words together. Self esteem. Self esteem, that means autoestima. Self esteem. Eggplant. What's eggplant? Berenjena. Exactly. Do you like eggplant? Yes. Yes. Like Very good. Some people don't like it, right? But it's good with cheese. Yes, roast with cheese. <laughs> roast with cheese is very delicious. And also stuffing and rellenas. So they are good. You put tomato sauce too. So they are very good. Mm -hmm. Armchair. With cheese. With cheese is solid delicious. That's true. Armchair. What's an armchair? Sí, yo. Yo. Ah, right. This one, right? Different than the sofa. The sofa is big. And the archer, well, we sit. So it is compounded by two words. Arm, the part of the body, and chair. Two words together make a combination and brings a different word. Fireman. What's a fireman? Bombero. That's right. Good. Separate the words. And we have fire. Fuego. Fuego. Man, hom hombre. All right. So you have bombero. It also can be firewoman, right? In the case that we have a feminine, a feminine form. Now, let's check the video about that. We have it about it. About the pronunciation compound words. using the website bookaroo.com after you finish
Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office. Gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so as we saw there, we have different compound words or compound nouns, which you are formed or you formed it from two words or even more words. In the cases that we have here, post office. Notice here that the circle or the bubble is like the one that you put more emphasis. So don't pronounce it like post office. All no, right, post office gas station, restroom, I'm sorry, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. So what I was saying that it, a noun can be a person, a place, or thing. So it's whatever. Even our names, they are nouns, just that we have proper nouns or a proper names but they are referring to those. So tell me here, what are the places that you visit? What places do you normally visit? A supermarket. A supermarket, okay. What else? Any other place that you like to visit? A department store. A department store, all right, very good, nice. Mercedes? A bank. A bank, yes, that is true, right? So what things can we do at a bank? Uh, pay your bills. You can pay your bills, that is true. Nice one. Cari Guadalupe. Places that you commonly visit? Um, University. You visit the university, right? And in many of the occasions, you can pay also, right? like the scholarship there at the university. That's nice, great. Camila, what places do you normally visit? Candy shop. A candy shop, oh, do you love candies? 
Yes, I like. Yes, you do it. Nice, Francisco. A barber. Ah, the barber shop. That's true. Correct. So there are many places that we can visit then. Now, other cases. Jose, David. Jose, David. Hello. Hello. Tell, tell us, like, uh, what can you buy in a department store? What things can you buy? Mm -hmm. Milk or bread? Department store. No supermarket. What is the uh, department what is store? store? Department store is like when you go to Siman, for example. Ah, and, yeah. Right? These places you can buy different things uh, this, for your this, house, your clothing. Yes. Uh, T-shirts. Ah, okay. You can get T-shirts. What else? Uh, shoes. Shoes. Uh-huh. Um, a belt. A belt. Right. Um, I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> yes. Okay. Many things, right? Like a clothing, right? All of those things. Jewelry also you can find. All right. Thank you. Very good. Pamela? Yes. Pamela, are you there? Doris, Doris Emilia. Gas, gas station. Okay, at the gas station. All right, good one. What can you get at a gas station? Uh, get gasoline. You get gasoline? Mm -hmm. All right, gasoline. that's true, right? Normally we do that. Great. Luis Antonio, tell us what can you get in a drugstore? What things can you buy in a drugstore? I can get uh, medicine. Medicine, all right. Which drugstores do you usually visit to get medicine? Um, I I usually get uh, acetaminophen. Acetaminophen. Mm -hmm. Do you have like a, a specific drugstores that you like to visit? For example, if you say San Nicolas. Pharma Value. Do you have a favorite one or any any mm. drugstore? Any drugstore. Any drugstore, right? Like the one that is closer, more proximate to you, right? Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Now let's see. Tatiana. Tatiana Maria, are you present? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Now tell us what supermarkets do you know? Which supermarkets do you know? Eh, ¿Cuál supermarket visito o, o qué me está diciendo? Ajá, los que conoce. Which ones um, do you know? Super Selecto. Super Selecto. Eh, despensa Familiar. Uh -huh. um, no, no se me ocurre nada más, dicho. Those ones? Okay. Don Juan also, right? Despensa de Don Juan. Ah, okay. La de Don Three Juan también. Uh -huh. They are, are very Walmart. common, right? Walmart. Walmart is another one. Yes. So they are very common. Price Mart. Yes. Price Mart. Price Mart. Yes. yes. Yeah. That's another one. All right. Thank you. Sarina. Sarina, are you there? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Tell us, the, for example, bookstores. Which bookstores do you know? No, teacher. Uh -huh. You don't know any bookstores? No. No? Estela? Thank you, Sarina. Estela Marisol? Hello. Which Hello. bookstores do you know? <laughs> bookstores. Bookstores. Librerías. Librería. Uh -huh. Which ones do you know? Aha. Uh -huh. But eh, which ones? In a specific names, what do you know? For example, there exists Americana. the Americana. La Ceiba. Americana. Ah, La Ceiba is very popular, yes. Uh, Internacional. Internacional. San Rey also, right? There is another one. Aranda. 
Aranda. Good. Yes, that's true. So they are very common, very common bookstores. UCA also, right? UCA also has its own uh, library or, or bookstores too. All right, guys. We are going to continue with this compound nouns tomorrow, okay? To continue practicing. Hello. Okay, coach. Bye. Thank you. Okay, Thank bye. you so much. Have a beautiful See you night. Tomorrow. See you Thank tomorrow. You Bye, Thank teacher. you. Bye. Thank you so much. Good night, teacher. Good, see you tomorrow, night. teacher. good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good Have good a beautiful night. night. Good Have a good night. night. Take care. See you tomorrow.